The Mission Control Technologies project is actually a bundle of technologies, half of which has to do with underlying computer software development, implementation, and architecture, and the other half has to do with the user's experience of using the computer. So, Mission Control Technologies, to understand what it is, I, th I think I want to start with how we do software now, or, or how we typically have done software in personal computing. And I, I think when most of us think of software, we think of applications. You start an application, and you use an application. It might be a word processor, it might be an image editor, uh, it might be a music application. And an application is really a, a predetermined set of functionality. And over time, with applications, users want more, of course. They want more features, so the applications tend to grow. Uh, and all of us, whoever uses that application, gets usually the whole feature set. So the idea behind MCT is to refactor that. And instead of using applications, to use what we call user objects. Mission Control Technologies, or MCT for short, is a single unified software environment designed to facilitate the development and integration of functionality typically found in separate software applications. To do this, developers are leveraging the ideas behind component-based software to develop MCT's underlying architecture. Component-based software is a uh, method of designing software systems around the concept of a, of a component, a, a, a more or less self-contained unit of functionality. Uh, this is important in, in the mission control area because every one of the elements of data that the user might look at can be constructed as an individual component and it can be used uh, and reused in a variety of places without having to add more code to the system. In our platform we also support OSGI. So this is the, uh, the platform where we allow these components to be bundled together and they can um, be deployed or installed dynamically. So all the applications that want to be incorporated in MCT, they have to conform with this interface. And so that, that increased the um, extensibility and also the, uh, the degree of interaction between these components. Developing a new software system to take the place of the host of current applications being used in ground mission control for the International Space Station requires a deep understanding of the challenges and requirements facing flight controllers. For uh, MCT, it was very important for us to understand the world of the flight controller. So if we need to understand complex systems, how do we do that? Well, the first thing you do is go out into their world, into their workplace, and follow them around and observe them, understand what is their language like? Um, how do they do uh, problem solving? You know, what is the process that it, it um, takes to even get a job there and, and go through your career path there? And then you get to the really specific details of, well, what does telemetry look like? Um, how do they know if something's wrong? Uh, how do they talk to the crew? How do they make decisions amongst themselves? So uh, for, for all of those things, we have to have software that helps them do that. And if we can't answer those questions, we can't build software. The way that mission control currently works in Houston for the International Space Station is based largely on how mission control works for the Space Shuttle because the Space Shuttle came first. And how the Space Shuttle mission operations works is based largely on the previous spacecraft all the way back to Apollo and even Gemini, in fact. Currently they use many, many applications, like a thousand applications. There are some issues there of maintaining all those applications, there are inconsistencies across those applications. Now, it all works fine. However, it costs rather a lot of money to maintain. If you want to change anything, you might have to change several applications. Training is a little more than it would have to be if all of the applications worked the same or if there were fewer applications. 
So we're trying to reduce the amount of money it costs to maintain the software. We're trying to reduce the number of applications. We're trying to make the user experience and therefore the training unitary so you do the same thing the same way everywhere. So instead of having multiple applications, the idea is the flight controllers in Houston would instead be using, well, just the computer. We don't want them to have to think about starting a particular application to do something. Moving to a unified software environment for mission control will provide numerous efficiencies, such as streamlining the software certification process and allowing components to be reused across operations, training, and procedure development. So right now you have mission control applications, you have training applications. They're doing fundamentally related things, but they're actually using different software to do that. With MCT, you should be able to use, say, a telemetry and monitoring component and use the exact same component in operations and in training. Now, the trainers will need other things on top of that, but we can eliminate some redundancies there. In procedures, you would typically have a set of steps that you execute because that's what a procedure is. But with MCT, just by drag and drop, you can embed the telemetry into the procedure. You could even embed the command points into the procedure if you wanted to. So to a user, mission control technologies is a unified environment that has all the software objects and all the software functionality they need in that one environment, which they can then freely compose any way they want. Looking to the future, Mission Control Technologies researchers will work with colleagues across NASA to integrate this leading-edge technology with other systems to support upcoming and future NASA missions. Beyond the, the composable software that we've talked about, the next step would be to add semantics and information models and work with the people doing Constellation, taking us back to the moon and integrate the MCT composability architecture with the semantics and information model architecture that Constellation is developing. So the idea is you can decompose a spacecraft or a ground system into parts and then the interconnections between those parts can be known and understood in the software. So then potentially you can say, okay, I have a malfunction, what are all the related entities here? or I have a flight rule or a procedure, what are all the related entities? And it should make the composition easier for the human being if the software understands the meaning behind things. This project is intended to change the way that people use computers fundamentally. And by the way, the way that software is architected and built as well. Not just for NASA, not just for the space industry, but for everybody.